Hey guys, I'm contacting you from the cyberpunk future to talk about something I assumed I wouldn't even have to think about again, which is Chaos Faction 2 speedrunning. Chaos Faction 2 came out in 2010 when I was literally in the sixth grade, and it had a small speedrunning community for a while which was pretty which was pretty neat and four years ago i took the world record for this game and i accidentally held it for three and a half years because the run was pretty okay and when flash died i assumed that that was going to be the end of chaos faction 2 sadly but uh oh boy was i wrong um there was a huge nostalgia wave for Flash games, a lot of appreciation for those old games, and there's more people speedrunning it than ever, and that's awesome. But what it means is we now have some issues in that scene with emulation, what platforms should be allowed, what techniques should be allowed on new emulated platforms. And I hope to answer some questions as, I guess, the default mod for this, for this community. So hopefully I can uh, return to answer some stuff. Um, so I'll answer some questions. What emulator should be legal? Who is the best Chaos Faction 2 speedrunner right now? And why is my gamertag different on every single platform? I will answer one of those questions by the end of this video. First things first. Uh, Flash was not a perfect program to begin with, and the biggest roadblock to most people getting into the community was that Flash ran inconsistently and slow on many computers. Didn't matter if your computer was amazing, legacy Flash code just still managed to find a way to be terrible. And that was really limiting. So optima uh, emulation is actually a really good thing. It allows for optimization of these games. Um, and optimization of Chaos Faction seems to be pretty good on some of these emulators. So we should accept emulators with open arms. When my run was eventually beat five months ago, uh, it was on an emulator, I believe. A lot of the new runs are on emulators, and that doesn't disqualify them at all. Most of these people are the best players to ever touch the game, and that's great. Like, good right on them. I don't think any of that is disqualifying. The first thing to say about emulation, though, is that even though you have to go through some crazy loopholes sometimes, the original version still does exist. You can find ways to downgrade your software to get flash working on a web browser. Now that's not like, that's pretty inaccessible to most people, but it means that you can't just allow emulators to do whatever they want if it's not uh, possible on the original flash version. If it's not possible on the original flash version, it shouldn't be allowed. Now, we can't be too stingy here for accessibility reasons. As you will see, um, some of these, the, the graphics look a little different than the original, in small ways, and sometimes not so small ways. And I think that's just going to be part of the territory of playing the games. Whether these things give a slight advantage or disadvantage, I don't think it really matters, as long as mechanically it's all uh, functioning identically. I don't think any of these graphical changes I've seen impact gameplay that much. And if the game does run better than the original, as long as it's not able to run faster than the original uh, and just avoid those lag spikes, I think that's entirely okay. And if an emulator is unstable and crashes sometimes, I know Supernova, despite being the most popular option right now, does crash sometimes. That's okay too. Uh, those things aren't disqualifying in of themselves. However, like all good things, a line does have to be drawn somewhere. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is because some amazing runs were submitted that sadly I can't accept, and I hope to explain why right now. This clip right here is pretty much one of the biggest reasons that we have to have an emulator discussion. So let's watch. 
Okay, so if you've never played Chaos Faction before, you'd be understandable in saying that looks like a normal game clip. But if you have played before, that looks goofy. And it's because of this right here. Uh, so here, uh, this zombie gets hit while going directly upwards with one frame of a dash attack. You can see the zombie moving directly upwards. One frame of the dash attack. And, ooh, buddy, does that guy fly. He almost flies into the hole while in tumble. <laughs> and and you might be like, oh, I don't know, maybe the physics glitched out. <laughs> and then you have this clip right here. For those who have never played this game, uh, that's a ridiculously far way to send off of a dash. And you can see what's happening right here. He gets punched. Frame perfect dash off the ground really close to the ground when he does it he hits the zombie and the zombie gets hit like three like if not like five times the knockback it seems that that knockback is being applied in that hitbox is being applied multiple times between frames to give you an example of what this is normally supposed to look like it should normally look like this so there i nailed it i punched him and i dashed and i think it was frame perfect it's kind of precise. You can hit all of them at the same time. Obviously, like, you can see this character, he basically gets knocked straight up in the air. Um, if I actually take a quick detour right here to look at how this looks on a different emulated version, this is the Flashpoint one. You'll see that, same thing, he, like, kind of rolls forward after being in tumble, but, uh, yeah. So the, uh, the, there's just a bug with the emulation that sends people really far back on dashes. Or any odd behavior like that, so yeah. Let's see if I can do the punch combo again. Yeah. So even when it's frame perfect, same inputs, it gives different behavior on every main emulator except the one that was submitted, so that's an issue. And also, our little clip right here, we are going to see another emulator using person do this. He's running commands on the uh, emulator right now, and because he runs the commands, he's able to get the achievement off of a failure and essentially bug out the code. I actually think these guy, these runners are, like, really good. Like, um, like aside from... This bug that just, like, literally occurs, like, a hundred times in this run. This is not the only instance. It just occurs, like, a hundred times. Um, like, the run's actually really good. It's really impressive. Uh, but it's just not possible on other versions of the game. And the runner even acknowledges that right here, saying, um, next time he plays, he's going to do it on a normal version to make it fair. Which implies it's not fair, and I agree. So I'm um, I'm sorry to this dude. Uh, I think he's really cool for making these, and I, and I hope to see what comes from him next. But that is where the line gets drawn. So let's answer the question: What is allowed? You get the game running as it was on your web browser. That's clearly allowed. But I will allow some other emulations to be legal, such as Supernova and Flashpoint. Um, some of these other ones may become allowed in the future, but we need more testing. Supernova and Flashpoint are just extremely popular right now, and I think it's also the players that are getting people back into the game. I think some of these other players will just end up being something that people might gravitate to because they're better, but we have to test them. Supernova, Flashpoint, and Legacy are the only thing allowed. Um, for the time being, I'll put an update below this video if anything changes and but yeah so keep up the good runs i can't wait to see what the future of this game brings uh i did my own run recently and i got 13 minutes so that's not very good but you know it felt good to be back um this is a great game love y'all um see you on the battlefield